Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm working on becoming a full-time illustrator. I thought I'd start this vlog off with a mini sketchbook tour. This is actually an A6 blank notebook that's not fit for sketching or painting at all. But I filled it up with random doodles anyway. I think I started sketching on this notebook a month ago and I filled it up around the third week of March. Most of these are really messy and practice sketches. There is also a spread where I stuck on a bunch of faux stamp washi tape because I wanted to see the designs. I'm currently enjoying drawing with fine liners as well, so you'll see that most of the later pages are in ink or in line art. I also want to show you this small animation that I did which I also posted on my Instagram. But the quality on Instagram is so bad that I thought I'd include it here too. This one that my, my mother sent me here on the like I said, and it unfortunately is not powerful enough to go with Stephanie. Last week I've just been idle. Uh, the bulk of the work for the shop was done and I am I was just kind of waiting on my stickers to arrive and I kind of expected to have more products for the shop update but sadly I only have two new stickers which I'll show you in a bit. Um, I'm not going to be forcing any more products for the update. Anyway, there are still other stickers from before, like from last year. The Peachtober stickers are still going to be on the shop, as well as the zine. And I'm thinking of discontinuing the prints, like the first batch of the prints. We'll see. I, I've, I've delayed the shop reopening for quite some time so I'm just gonna reopen the shop by the end of the week 
I've been using a lot of watercolors last week and I'm kind of liking the look of watercolors and gouache together so I've been experimenting with that I'll show you a couple of sketch uh, I'll show you a couple of sketches uh, later on and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the character design quarterly there um, they have this page on Instagram and Facebook called character design challenge and they basically give you a prompt every month and you you have to design a character based on that prompt and the prompt for this month is mushroom fighter which sounds so cool and i wanna give it a go yeah i've already made a couple of um design sketches and i'll show you those as well I've also hoarded a bunch of watercolor papers because I feel like I'm getting back into watercolors and I don't think I'm going to stop using watercolors. So I hoarded a couple of affordable papers that I found online. Um, I got this uh, Bao Hong Academy paper, which is about eleven dollars give or take plus shipping and i got this uh paul rubens watercolor sets uh, i got this paul rubens watercolor sketchbook um they're both 100 percent cotton um i prefer cotton paper because it's just easier to lay down the watercolors as opposed to cellulose paper and cotton paper for watercolors is fairly expensive especially if you're looking for like the high quality branded ones um arches and uh fabriano i think yeah so yeah i got these which are fairly affordable for like a lot of pieces Anyway, I guess I'll show you the sketches I did over the past few days. Oh, um, I got a Logitech keyboard because my laptop keyboard has been glitching the past week and it's so annoying now that I had to connect an external keyboard just so I my productivity doesn't um, get compromised the stickers um, these are um, there are a couple of stickers that I had to have remade because uh, something went wrong with the ones I made if you remember I I made my own stickers for the Peachtober uh, paintings and they didn't sit well in storage, so I had to throw those out because um, to me, it's a little like I can't sell them anymore, even at a discount or and I don't want to give them away because of how bad they look. So, yeah, um, something I've learned that my printer is so awful okay um yeah these are the peachtober paintings that's coming to the shop um i'm not going to be selling the other ones i think i have one more sticker it's bloom and i had that reprinted let me show you okay i had bloom reprinted and I did not like the result. I gave it a black background and I don't know, I'm not very happy with how it looks. Uh, it's not the printer's fault. I think it's the it's how I made it. So these will be going these will be I will be giving these as freebies instead. And um I think I have 16 of them 
yeah so I, until they run out there be they will be freebies oh this is my journal by the way and i just stuck it on stuck it on there so i i can remember what it looks like okay so um yeah these are the three that are going to the shop um i like this new manufacturer that i got because they do this uh easy peel thing like this second white border is like just the backing of the paper of the sticker and you can easily peel the sticker out of the backing except for this one i think uh, they emailed me that they uh, made a mistake with this one but you can it's it's not easy peel but you can still peel it you can still peel it off uh, okay this one this one is actually glittered but you can't clearly see it looks really good in like artificial in um when there's light around let me show you when there's no artificial lighting like if it's uh nighttime uh like if it's daytime it just looks like a matte sticker but if there's uh this light this um night uh but if there's artificial lighting uh the glitters look so nice on the sticker yeah also the new stickers i think you've seen this in a sketchbook spread and i really liked it so that's a new sticker it's quite big I think you're familiar with this one as well because I made a video on um, I made a video painting this uh, lady and this one is also uh, glittery yeah. I'm quite happy with this it looks really really nice I think I'll keep one for myself <laughs> This one's quite big. It's the biggest sticker I've made. Um, it's around four inches. Oh, yeah, four inches. Yeah, it's four inches. It fits a four inch square. So, yeah, I hope you guys will like these. Okay. Um, sketches now i'm going to show you the sketches this is a it's just a watercolor sketchbook that i made with um ardo watercolor paper and i just glued the sides so they're like uh glued on one edge okay i think this is the first one i did with the gouache um here i think i made her hair in I mm -hmm. here I think I painted her hair in gouache and everything else in watercolors I do quite like the effect it's giving me oh also these ones which I think I've showed in my Instagram stories and asked people if they can distinguish between uh, which one is a is watercolor and which one is painted with acrylic gouache and most of the most of them got it right <laughs> but i do like this top one is actually watercolors and the bottom one the bottom one is acrylic gouache um yeah this is the second one i did with her hair uh in acrylic gouache and the rest of her uh body and her dress is in watercolors here you'll see a couple of planet sketches um I've been, I think I showed you in the start of the vlog a mini sketchbook tour and I sketched a little planet that I thought would be a cute logo and uh, yeah, I just painted it here to see if I would like it and I quite like this one which is watercolors and acrylic gouache. So yeah, you're seeing the pattern here where I mix 
um, watercolors and acrylic gouache in one illustration. Here are a few um, landscape things, which I also really like. I kind of like this uh, red green gradient that I got going on. Um, I didn't think they would pair up really nicely, so yeah, it was a nice surprise. Watercolors do this thing where they blend with each other really nicely, and the green and red blending is so nice. And I didn't expect them to look very good together. I wanted to try doing landscapes and um, I've been trying that with acrylic gouache which I have not showed you ever. <laughs> Just take my word for it. <laughs> okay. I don't have enough practice with acrylic gouache to make um, landscapes that com convey a certain level of depth but with watercolors you can do that by layering the colors. So I tried it here. And I quite like the result, which is why I I want to experiment. I want to do more paintings mixing these two mediums. Um, I guess I'll show you the rest of the page. Okay, this one was also an experiment, which I did not continue anymore because I did not like how I did the leaves, like the overall composition of the leaves. I want to redo this, but, you know, change up these elements. Um, yeah, now, I think this segues nicely to the mushroom fighter I was talking about. Um, before I did these, I did some sketches on another sketchbook. These are a couple of preliminary sketches that I did. Um, and I sketched out this standing looking person that looks very regal almost. So I wanted to try painting her... What do you call this? I don't know what this is called in armor terminology. And I tried painting that here with like the same red green gradient that you've seen. And I do like it. This does have um, line art I did with a micron pen. Uh, then I did a couple more sketches just to experiment with the pose because I thought the standing one was so a little boring. And um, here are a couple more sketches. I wanted to also refine the the weapon that he's going to be holding or sh she's going to be holding. And then came this one, which I really, really like. And I showed it. I showed this to Nate over the weekend, and he said I should try something more cute. So I tried that, and here is the result of those. Yeah, here are a couple more pages. Okay, at this point, I thought I'd be done because I like this. So I sketched this like wolf and a little deer yeah but I wanted to experiment more and then this one is the last one which I didn't finish because I was basically getting tired of experimenting um, okay in the end I want to go with this one because it's a unique design Yes, and I love that it's so creepy. Um, but let me know if you like this one or you prefer the cute one. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this, this version or a cute version. I do think I want to paint both versions. The cute version, this one's my favorite, so... I think I'll paint both of those, but I want to submit this one only to the, like, when I do, when I post this on my Instagram, uh, the page, the page says you have to tag your, um, 
your design. So I think this is the one that I'm gonna submit. But still, let me know in the comments which one you like. Hello, it's now Friday. Um, this is probably the last footage you will be seeing in the vlog because I want to upload early. Uh, uh, yesterday, I took photos of all the products. I wanted to redo all of them to give it a more cohesive and minimalist look. I did that for all the old and the new products except for the zine. I just couldn't be bothered with the zine. Um, so I'm, I'm leaving the product photos for the zine as is. I've listed all of the items yesterday and basically I just have to turn off vacation mode on Etsy. But for Shopee, I had um, some of my products are for review and it would take 24 to 48 hours which I did not know so I'm waiting also on that to be approved. Shopee will be taking my local orders and then Etsy will be taking my international ones. Unfortunately for international orders, our post office has closed a few countries that were open before and I will list the countries that are available for mail here on this side or somewhere on the screen. Currently coordinating with a third party delivery service but I don't think I can settle everything in time for the shop update so I will just add them later on the downside of the third party courier is that they are more expensive than the post office so I just thought it would be a at least an option for those countries that are not available for postal mail. The post office does update the available countries every month so if ever a country opens up I will transfer, um, I will adjust the shipping when that country opens so you are getting a cheaper uh, shipping. Anyway I'll be announcing more on my Instagram stories so if you'd like an update please follow me there on another note I got paper making supplies I basically just bought a decal and a frame screen frame thing and I've been soaking paper scraps for at least 48 hours now I have one batch of watercolor paper and that one has been soaking for 48 hours because it's so thick and I don't want to destroy our blender. Uh, and the second batch is uh, toilet paper scraps. No, they're not from the bathroom. Uh, I use them to wipe excess paint off my paintbrush. And I've been saving and I've been collecting them and saving them for the past three weeks. I also got punch needling supplies <laughs> because everyone has been doing them and I thought the outcome was so cute so I have to buy yarn though I have not bought yarn I bought the hoop thing and the needle thing and the cloth earlier in this vlog I showed you sketches of a uh, mushroom fighter which is the prompt for the character design challenge this month. And I know I said I wanted to go with the more edgy sketch that I did, but when I sketched it out, I really I wasn't really feeling it, so I reverted back to the cute one which I will be painting today.
Hello again. This is Andy, the voiceover. I thought I'd do the voiceover here while I'm painting this mushroom fighter. This is my entry for the character design challenge for the month of March. After I painted this character, traditionally I scanned it in and edited the rest in Photoshop making I and I did enjoy making this character it is quite a nice space to be working with a prompt and actually researching uh, different elements that can go with it also by the time you watch this video my Etsy shop will probably be open so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. As for my Shopee store, I would have to announce that on Instagram if it's ready since I did mention that some of my products are for review and it would take 24 to 48 hours for them to approve my listing. I do hope that you enjoy watching this vlog. Even though it's a mishmash of a lot of different things. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!